Hi, second graders. This is Miss Davis. We are um, going to do another reading mini lesson today. So the I am learning statement that we are going to be thinking about for this lesson is, I am learning to express opinions about how a character ask, acts, excuse me, and relate it to my own life. So we are thinking about characters and all the different stories that we read, and we are making connections with them. We are thinking about how they act and thinking about would we act that way? Would we not act that way? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some examples of students who have shared their opinions on the way a character has acted. Now, I want you guys to, to think about the fact that you may have read some of these stories. You may not have read some of these stories. So if you have read these stories, it'll be a really great review for you. Um, and if you haven't read these stories, it'll be a good preview because we're just gonna talk a little bit about what happens in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this chart. It says, think about whether you would act the same way the character acts. So that's another way that we can say our I am learning statement. We are learning to think about whether we would act the same way that a character in a story acts. So the first book that we're going to look at is called The Art Lesson. You may have read this, you may not have read this before, but pretty much this boy right here, his name is Tommy, and he is in art class and he is asked to copy the same picture that his teacher has drawn up on the board. So a student named Mateo shared what he thought about how the character acted in the story. So this is what he said. He said, I would have copied the drawing and talked to my teacher about how I felt after class. So Mateo is making a connection with what he would do, and he's connecting it with Tommy, who's a character in the story. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Now we're gonna look at another book, Pecan Pie Baby. So in this story, this little girl, Gia, she is about to have a new baby sibling, and um, she's really upset, and she's a little jealous, and she's a little nervous, and she's a little bit anxious about the baby coming. So Aaliyah, a student named Aaliyah, was able to share her opinion on how the character Gia acted. So this is what she said. She said, I would be excited to have a new brother or sister to play with. I would not throw a tantrum. So that's how Aaliyah feels about this situation. So last but not least, we'll take a look at the Big Red Lollipop. Big Red Lollipop is the name of the story. So in this story, we have Rubina, the main character. This is her right here. And she also has two sisters. One of her sisters steals her lollipop and eats most of it. So Landon took a minute to say what he thought about how he would react if his sister stole his lollipop and ate it. So Landon said, I would be upset if my sister ate my lollipop, but I would talk to my parents instead of chasing her around the house. So all three of these students, Mateo, Aaliyah, and Landon, they shared how they thought they would act as compared to how a character acts in a story. So this is something, my friends, that we should be practicing doing as much as we can, because if we can relate to characters in a story, and if we can make connections, it's gonna help us grow our brains. Second graders, here I have a story that I believe that most of you have heard before. This story is Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hanks. So this story is all about a girl who starts school and she has this beautiful name, Chrysanthemum, and she's named after a flower. And she ends up being kind of teased and kind of bullied and, and people are not so nice to her about her name. Um, and, you know, she, she reacts in a way where she becomes sad and upset, um, but eventually she learns to become proud of her name. So I'm going to challenge you guys to come up with an opinion on how you think you would act if this happened to you. So what do you think you would do if you had an odd or different name and you found that people were um, bullying or not being so kind to you? So for example, I think that my opinion would be, I would act a lot like Chrysanthemum if people were making fun of me for my name. I would be upset and I would probably talk to my parents about it. Um, and hopefully I would eventually become comfortable with my name. So that's my opinion on how I'm like Chrysanthemum, but I'm wondering, what do you guys think? So take a minute to think about it with this book, Chrysanthemum, and then also take some time to think about it with other stories that you are reading. So remember, we are learning that we can express our opinions on characters in a story, all right? I'll talk to you guys soon.